Good evening everybody, thank you very much for joining in. This is 45 in the series where we are going to speak about the topic which is known as the type of forward contracts. And we are going to cover the two type of forward exchange in the market. One is known as short term forward contract and second is known as long term forward contract. Well from this side I am Rahul Bhagan working as a corporate treasurer in Eatsell Services India. And at the same time I am working as a treasury trainer and business consultant in various forums of the, or various forums across the world. Predominantly in Asia and also acting as a virtual treasurer for various companies in India and in Singapore. I am also a foreign exchange author. My first book, which is for Options for Risk Free Portfolio, already published in New York in March 2003 2013. Second book, which is Techniques to Hedge Your Interest Rate Exposure, scheduled to publish in Singapore and uh, Australia by December 2014. You are most welcome to join my FX group, which is known as Foreign Exchange Every Thinkers or LinkedIn, which is having 2,170 members. And second, on the YouTube, which is having 40 technical videos. 1200 views and 44 subscribers and also on a daily also on a daily motion so i'm again stressing on the fact that we're going to speak about a topic which is known as a type of forward contracts what do you mean by forward contracts forward contracts means an agreement which is done by a one party which is known as a corporate with the second party which is known as a bank to sell or to buy a respective currency for a period of time at an agreed price which is known as a forward price now forward for forward on the forwards on the categorization of a tenor can be divided in, into, into two parts. One is known as STFX forward contracts, and the other is known as LTFX forward contracts. STFX forward contracts are known as short term forward contracts. And LTFX is known as long term forward contracts. STFX forward contracts means any forward contract taken by taken up by a company between a period. Bit, bit, uh, let me rub this. Any STFX refers to any forward contract taken up by a company between a period which is known as zero to one years. This is known as short term forward contract. Please be note that I am referring to 0 to 1. Technically speaking, this is spot to 1 year. Because before spot, you have 2 days, which is which is known as before spot. Cash spot, Tom spot, and spot. So anything from spot till 1 year is, is known as short term forward contract, also refers to as STFX. Anything greater than 1 year till any tenor, it is known as LTFX, which is also known as long term forward contracts. So I'm again stressing on the fact that forward contracts can be categorized into two parts. One, 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 new, one is known as short term forward contract STFX. Second category is a LTFX which is known as long term forward contracts. Now how to execute a short term forward contract and how to execute a long term forward contract. Take a very simple example. Suppose there is a company. Suppose there is a company in India which is LNT. LNT is an importer and suppose there is a company in India which is Cognizant which is an exporter. Now LNT wants to buy dollars and Cognizant wants to sell dollars and both cannot buy sell with each other they have to license themselves by a bank License in the sense that they will do with the bank. Once the bank hit in interbank market, this is known as interbank. So they have to license in a bank which is known as DB India. DB India stands for Deutsche Bank India. Now LNT would have two options. Since LNT is a buyer, LNT would have two options. One, LNT can buy, LNT can, can buy STFX and LTFX. STFX refers to short term. LTFX refers to long term. Cognizant would have an another two option whether to sell STFX and LTFX. STFX refers to short term. LTFX refers to long term. Now, if LNT would buy for short term, it means they have a short term import commitments. On the other hand, if they buy for a long term, it means they have a long term import commitments. In both the senses, 
LNT will have to pay the premium. So the pricing would be like that. In case of LNT, you would have some spot plus the premium which you have to pay. That premium would be a short term premium or a long term premium plus the charge. Charge would refer to a brokerage. Now, now as per industry, the brokerage is one fourth of a pesa. I am again stressing the fact that whether it is a short term forward contract or a long term forward contract, LNT would have to pay the premium. That premium would depend how the premium, how the premium is turning into, into the market. As on today, one year premium turning out to be roughly 5 rupees and 4, P, 4 year premium roughly turning out to be an 18 rupees. 18 rupee premium. The same would hold true for Cognizant, wherein the Cognizant would, would do either STFX transaction or LTFX transaction. If Cognizant would do STFX transaction, they would sell for near term. If they do for LTFX transaction, they will sell, they, they will sell for long term. If they do for STFX, in that sense, they would be receiving the premium. And if they do for LTFX, they would be also receiving the premium. So in both the senses, they would be receiving the premium. Again, again stressing on the fact that whether it is LNT or it is it is uh, your Cognizant. LNT would pay the premium, Cognizant would receive the premium. That would remain in time. Now in case of Cognizant, the pricing would be like that. You would have a spot rate, you would have a premium, you would have a minus brokerage. The net would be known as net outright rate. This would be known as net outright rate. Please be know that importer would always pay a premium and exporter would always receive a premium. And paying a premium, like the final price of any forward contract would be known as this, which is known as net outright rate. Net outright rate would be known as spot rate plus premium. This I refers to an IMP. IMP stands for exporter. This is plus brokerage, which is say X. In case of in case of exporter, this would be spot rate plus premium. minus brokerage, this is known as Y. Now this premium which an importer would receive, importer would receive on a R side premium. And exporter would receive on the sell side premium, which is known as bid side. So this is all about the short note on what with my forward contract. At an end, I would like to restate the fact that Forward contract is nothing but a contract taken up by a corporate treasurer to do either buying and selling of his receivables and payables respectively for a respective period of time at a respective rate which is known as net outright rate. Please be note that forward contracts can be honored only by three ways. There is no other way through which you can you can you can honor your forward contract. One, you can cancel your forward contract. Second, you can pre-utilize your forward contract. Three, you can settle your forward contract, which is refers to on maturity. Well, pre-utilization, nothing but pre-settlement. It is not a separate term, but you can link this up. Fourth, you can do the rollover. Rollover is nothing but spot cancellation plus new booking. Please be note that rollover might end up in a gain or might end up in a loss to you. Now these are the four ways you can honor your forward contract. And forward contracts in the tender wise is of two types. One is known as short term forward contract which is known as STFX. Second is known as long term forward contract which is known as LTFX. You are most welcome to contact me at these numbers. 9198992429 you are welcome to email me at rahulnagan8 at the rate gmail.com for any of the queries. Thank you very much and thanks for joining.